Sunita Williams and a fellow astronaut are set to return to Earth after spending nine months in space. Ragini Sudhir Chore has the details. Sunita Williams and her fellow astronaut Bally Wilmer were supposed to return to Earth after a quick 10-day mission in June of 2024. Little did they know, they'll be stuck for nine months on the International Space Station. The two are finally preparing to come home, but not before making history in ways no one could have predicted. Williams and Wilmer are expected to return to Earth on 17th March. Williams, a seasoned astronaut who spent more than 274 consecutive days in space and a record-breaking 62 hours of spacewalk, handed over the command of the International Space Station to Russian cosmonaut Alexei Ovechkin on Tuesday. Don't worry, you are leaving station in good hands. We will miss you. We will miss you, William said, as she handed over the command of the space station to him. Hey, thank you for everybody for joining us and um, we have cake to celebrate the situation. We are, ready. We are, we are always ready. <laughs> Williams and Wilmer were launched aboard Boeing Starliner on 5th June last year. Their goal? To test the Starliner's capabilities for a crewed flight. But things quickly went south. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew 9 next February uh, and that Starliner uh, will return uncrewed. Once they arrived at the space station, the spacecraft encountered a series of catastrophic failures from thruster malfunction to dangerous helium leak. The most advanced spacecraft in the world had grounded its crew in orbit. By the time Starliner capsule was declared unsafe for re-entry, NASA was forced to devise a new plan. The astronauts couldn't just sit in space indefinitely and so began a lengthy wait. A rescue mission was arranged but delays piled up like layers of space dust. A series of setbacks left Williams and Wilmer stranded in space for far longer than expected with no clear end in sight. By August 2024, a plan was devised. The pair would return aboard SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, not on the Starliner. But a series of delays meant that they would have to wait until March to bring a spectacular close, what has become one of the longest, most unexpected space missions in human history. Starliner was launched on 5th June 2024. The next day, that is 6th June, Starliner docked at the space station. On 18th June, Starliner was scheduled to return to Earth, but NASA delayed it till August. On 7th August, NASA said the two astronauts could return on SpaceX Crew Dragon in February if Starliner is still deemed unsafe for it. But on 24th August, NASA announced the astronauts will return with SpaceX crew in February, not on Boeing Starliner. On 11 February, NASA announced that astronauts will head home on SpaceX Dragon capsule that will take a new crew to the space station. And on 15th March, Crew 10 mission was launched from the Kennedy Space Center in the US state of Florida. your left hand screen you can see a view from stage one <laughs> and there we have our first images of the crew inside the dragon spacecraft as they make their way into orbit my family and friends without you i would not be here explore boldly live gracefully go crew 10. the final twist in this tale of space misadventure came from an unlikely source, SpaceX. Under Elon Musk's leadership, SpaceX has already launched a Crew Dragon capsule to bring the stranded astronauts back to Earth, but the capsule was ordered to stand down. It further delayed their return to Earth. 
Uh, we offered to bring them back early. This offer was rejected by the Biden administration. Why? Pol- for political reasons. That's so crazy. I mean, there's no way that they're going to make anyone who's supporting Trump look look good. Wow. They can only get them back with, with a SpaceX a spacecraft. But they, they pushed the return date past the uh, inauguration date. The SpaceX Dragon spacecraft is the only one that is considered safe enough to bring them back. So the NASA concluded that the Boeing spacecraft was not safe. So that's why they're stuck there. The Crew 10 team will bring with them NASA astronauts Annie McLean and Nicole Ayers, Japanese astronaut Takuya Onishi and Russian cosmonaut Kirill Peskov. With them, Williams and Wilma will finally make their way back to Earth. Williams and her colleagues dedicated a majority of their time to exploring life in space, researching, conducting experiments such as growing lettuce in space. They also investigated how microgravity influences the production of bacteria and yeast. Amid the delays, there were moments of political drama back on Earth. US President Donald Trump publicly authorized Musk to bring the astronauts home, calling the situation a national priority. We love you and we're coming up to get you and you shouldn't have been up there so long. Uh, the most incompetent president in our history has allowed that to happen to you. But this president won't let it happen. We're going to get them out. We're coming up to get you. I've authorized Elon. I said, can you get them out? Because, you know, they've been left up there. I hope they like each other. But they've been, maybe they'll love each other. I don't know. But they've been left up there. Think of it. And I see the woman with the wild hair, a good solid head of hair she's got. There's no kidding. There's no games with her hair. But, uh, and you know, there's a danger up there, too. They can have some failures up there that would be very bad. You've got to get them out. His theatrical remark was a reminder of the extraordinary lengths to which governments and companies are willing to go to ensure the safe return of the astronauts. Trump has sought to use the crisis to attack his predecessor, Joe Biden. In a White House statement, Trump blamed Biden for abandoning the astronauts in the space. He said Biden had left them there and showed his anger over the inaction. Trump even said he had called upon Elon Musk to help and that Musk was planning to launch a rescue mission for the astronauts within a couple of weeks. Trump also claimed that Biden was embarrassed by the episode and had not acted quickly enough. What stands out is the resilience of the human spirit. What was supposed to be a short mission is now a story of international collaboration, tech innovation and the will to overcome the odds. It's a testament to the unpredictable nature of space travel, where even the best laid plans can go awry. Williams and Wilma would soon be returning to Earth after what has truly been an odyssey in space. They'll return to the world they left behind nearly a year ago, finally completing a journey that started with high hopes but took a detour that no one saw coming. Ragini Sudhir Chore for DD India.